Hi everyone, welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we are getting messages from your spirit guides. So I set the intention today um, to get some messages from your spirit guides, to get some advice, messages, guidance, which is really the whole purpose of a spirit guides like assistance. If you guys want to learn more about spirit guides and like study them on your own or like learn how to communicate with your spirit guides, I love Sonia Cochette's uh, I always feel like I'm saying her last name wrong, but Ask Your Guides. It talks about how to talk to your spirit guides and explains what they even are. When I found her work and her YouTube channel and stuff, well, I found her books first. Um, it just like made more sense to me and like, <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh yeah, I talked to my spirit guides, but like, you know, having someone else like break it down and like, it just makes so much more sense. So spirit guides yeah their mission here is to help us fill our souls purpose our destiny protect us guide us so today we're going to get some messages because i know it's not always easy sometimes to to hear them or um you know we all need some guidance so <laughs> uh probably way too long of an intro for that i'll link that book down below i can't remember if i said that but we have three groups to choose from so use your intuition and select what pile caused you most. I'll put the image on the screen because you can't really see them from how I'm filming. So um, yeah, you can look at the timestamps down below if numbers speak to you more. Um, just really go with what feels right. There's no wrong answer. If you feel called to more than one pile then, or all of them, there's probably messages in all three or two of them for you. Just you you do you <laughs> you do you boo but yeah timestamps will be down below and um if you guys haven't already i hope you consider subscribing before you go i pick a random subscriber um once a month for a free reading i actually just filmed one earlier today for the february winner so it's my way of giving back um for you guys supporting me and my channel i want to support and give you guys readings and uh one-on-one -on -one readings i also um, have I'll leave my email down below if you want to have a paid one just to get more in depth but uh, just being here and watching the, these free readings I'm so grateful for um, so let's get started with group number one so you guys chose this green adventuring little Buddha and I Right off the bat, I can feel it. Your spirit guides really want you to laugh more, enjoy life. And if you guys have been feeling really stressed about finances or work, um, things like that, they want you to know that everything will be okay. So just, um, you know, just lower your stress levels a little bit. Find something that makes you laugh. Watch a silly movie. Hang out with friends. Just you need more laughter in your life. And don't stress about finances. I mean, I know, like, if it's really bad, like, it can't help it with stress, but um, this might just be for a specific few of you, but your spirit guides um, want you to know that it will be okay. So lighten up a little bit. So, spirit, what messages do you have for group number one? What messages do you have for group number one? What guidance, messages, advice do you have for our lovely group number one? Well, I'm going to take that card. There a few came out, but yes, you know, I was just talking about, like, have more fun. Everything's going to be okay. The sun card here, like, look how beautiful and bright this is. But this shows success, good times, feeling happy after a period of something stressful or hard, um, like, difficult times. This is, like, things are getting better. This is, like, the happiest card. And look how beautiful and colorful this is. Things are going to be okay. That's coming through really strong. I don't know what your case is specifically since it's a general reading, but it, I think it may be financial for a lot of you. Um, but there's light in the tunnel. Things are going to be okay. Keep your spirits up. Practice positive affirmations. Um, maybe it would be really nice for you, or like good for you and your soul like to get outside in the sun more if you can. I know like spring's coming for most parts of the world. Oops. And then we have two of wands. I don't know if I've ever actually seen it in this specific deck. Um, but maybe you guys have been really like longing to get outside and like go travel too with the sun. Like I was just saying, get outside. Maybe some of you guys have been just like having like wanderlust, especially after the past few years. I know a lot of people haven't traveled. Um, 
So if you've been wanting to, maybe you haven't seen family that live far away um, in a while, that could be this good news or good thing that's happening soon. You'll be able to get out and see them. For some of you, it might be, I'm getting a message here that the stress might involve a car or a vehicle, um, transportation of some sort. Maybe you've been having car shoes and that's the problem that is going to be um, taken care of. Uh, but also, and I, two of wants to me, I see this as like the like law of attraction type card. And that's true. Like your spirit guides want you to know that, you, well, cards are just flying out. Um, if you want something, like talk to them, ask for it. Like, you know, it's like they're there, here to help you. So set your intentions, practice positive affirmations. And for those of you that relate to this, your car troubles or financial troubles or seeing um, family that's been like long distance that you have mail see that soon will um, happen or maybe travel will happen for some of you as well just something with travel and cars and then we have the five of pentacles reverse so yeah it's the end of sad troubles like the five of pentacles upright is like the poverty card. So I think that is true that a lot of you guys have been stressing about money or something financial. Maybe you've been feeling really lonely, but these times, these hard times are coming to an end and spirit wants you to keep your head up. Just start laughing and enjoying life more and just believe, have faith that it's going to get better because it is. But like the sooner you have that faith and that like belief that it will, like you'll just feel better and it'll just happen faster. Yeah. Things are going to get a lot more stable for you guys. Like, that is such a cushy, nice, cozy life. Whenever I see this card, I'm like, oh, I just want to call up my cap. I'm going to be like, just like, enjoy home and what you have, no matter how much or how little it is, you know? Um, so that's beautiful. Let's get some... Let's do I have a bunch of decks in front of me. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Let's see what lessons um, or affirmations that your spirit guides want you to um, learn and practice. Positive affirmations are definitely coming through for this group, so I think this deck will be perfect for you. Let's see what we have here from spirit. What messages for group number one? Happiness. <laughs> I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Yes. From the very beginning, I said, spirit wants you to laugh more or be happier. Um, maybe you guys really love dolphins in the water. Maybe that has to do with that travel. Get outside, go to the water. But just dolphins, just like envision them. Like they're like, like loving life. What, they like just swimming with their friend, you know? Like maybe this is also like spirit saying like um, some social time, which you kind of alluded to with family earlier would be good for you. But um, the affirmation here from spirit is, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So if you're unhappy, maybe it's time to like think about, why and how you can make things better too you know like baby steps any action like what do they say like one changing one percent of your habits every day like into something more productive or positive um will lead to like drastic results in a year so i am aware that being happy means that i am on the right path yes and I, really, I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So yeah, if you're feeling fear, just know that you're being supported. Everything's going to be okay. Your spirit guides are very loving and nurturing. And they just want you to feel that this warmth and this love that they're trying to send you and overcome this fear and let you know that everything is going to be okay. And everything, like, even though it's hard to realize sometimes even the hard times of our life are... Um, they're there for a reason, for a lesson to be learned, and some things don't work out for us because um, there's something better. And I know sometimes that is hard in the moment, you know, to realize, but let's get another card or two from Spirit. But yeah, your Spirit guys really love you, and they want you to be happy, and they, they're letting you know that don't worry, don't fear, things are getting better. Let's see what I hear. We have here the full moon in Pisces, forgive. So maybe there's something you need to release from the past so you can move forward. And it could, even if someone else you think was in the wrong, just forgiving them and moving on and not living with this anger and hate will be so helpful for you guys. Um, maybe you've been in this five of pentacles, like upset, you know, 
turning it around. Well, it's going to be turned around. I see that this release of this this fear, this sadness is coming to an end. But you got in that. I think for a lot of you, just forgiving yourself. For whatever hardships have happened, whatever has happened in the past, forgive yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself, Spirit saying. Um, like I was just saying a moment ago, like it's all lessons. Don't don't regret things. Think of it as a lesson to be learned and that's how you got to where you are now and where you will be. Um, so don't look back with regret, fear, or like look forward in the future with fear. Like just be open to the abundance of love your spirit guys are trying to send you um, and Forgive yourself for the past so you can move forward. Yes, reflect on your priorities. Don't reflect on the past. And then let's roll the Astrodice to see what influences or people or what's going on. Any last messages from Spirit for group number one? We have Scorpio. Some of you guys might be a Scorpio or maybe this forgiveness has to do with some like secrets or something you've been holding in. Um, Mercury, with, yeah, that, that could have to do with that too. Mercury is all about communication. It can be kind of a trickster that could have to do with the have more fun. In the fifth house, so um, maybe this has to do with children, maybe spending time with kids or doing what you used to love when you were a kid, being more creative, um, letting your inner child shine, maybe doing some inner child work would be great. So we have, yeah, Scorpio, Mercury, and fifth house. So that is what I have for you, group one. I hope these messages resonated and were helpful from your spirit. And thank you to your spirit guys for being here and providing these messages and helping with the reading. Again, if you guys have not already subscribed, I hope you consider doing so. But either way, I'm just so grateful you're here and I hope you have a lovely day. Love you. Bye, group one. Hi, group two. So you guys chose dendritic agate. I always feel like I'm saying that wrong. Agate. Um, and this is a really cool stone. This is one of the newest, or the new, no, one of the newest, not the very newest. But um, this stone is great for doing shadow work and like working on inner growth and inner strength and wisdom. So I think your spirit guides, um, if you guys have been going through some stuff, like working on yourself, um, your spirit guides want to know that they are proud of you and they're with you um, and supporting you. Even if you feel really alone and it's really hurtful, they want you to know that going through this type of shadow work, or maybe you will be soon, um, it sucks. It hurts sometimes to like deal with past issues, but like it's going to help you grow. And they're like so proud of you that you're doing it or will do it and want you to know that this work you're doing on yourself will be so worth it. Um, but let's get some cards. So spirit... What messages, guidance, um, advice do you have for our group number two? Thank you for your clear and accurate messages. What do you want group number two to hear right now? What do they need to hear? What do you want them to know? Ooh, one card is one card. Right away. We have the four of cups. So it kind of came out reverse. I don't really know. It like plopped right out. So this to me though, this card makes me think your spirit guides have been trying to talk to you. Look, she's like sleeping. Is it focusing? Sleeping there and there's like a spirit there like, wake up, here I am. Like, I'm trying to help you. Um, and also I think that they're trying to show you that, you know, you may be down and think you don't like any of the options or don't like what's going on in your life, but they're like, don't want you to focus on a negative. Like, Sure, there's like these three cups here that might not satisfy you, but there's this beautiful one in the future. And they're trying to guide you to that beautiful cup. They want you to wake up. They want you to talk to you. <laughs> so definitely um, look out for synchronicities. Um, like any patterns, any numbers you keep seeing and kind of take note of what's happening at the time of these synchronicities. And maybe that'll make more sense what your spirit guides are trying to tell you. Maybe they, I think a lot of you, they might actually talk to you in your dreams. So I would suggest like having a dream journal by your bed. And right when you wake up, write down your dreams. I do that now. And I can barely read my writing because I literally wake up and I write down where I wake. Something you forget. Like, you know, like unless it was something you talk about right away, the same with writing it. So, and then um, when you start writing it, you'll remember more. So I think that would be a really great idea for you. And that maybe like you're working on your shadow work, like you don't even realize it, like through your dreams. Like, 
our dreams, like when we sleep, we, our bodies like regenerate. There's so much that goes on in our mind too. And yeah, I think that's definitely how your spirit guides are trying to reach out for you, to you. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Oh my, I see this as like them being like your little helpers, like with your work. It, this was actually reversed. So I think maybe some of you guys have been struggling with work or school, whatever it is in your case, maybe like feeling even like a hobby or feeling very lonely or like you are like overburdened, like you don't have any help to, you know, like you're stressed because you have so much going on and you feel like no one's on your side or something like that, whatever your situation may be, but they're there helping you. They're like right next to you. Oh, that's so cute. They're like little, what are they, like little elves and gnomes? I don't know. Um, but they see your hard work and they want you to know that it is going to be rewarded. And this could even be the shadow work for some of you, but I think a lot of it could be like your actual physical work, something in this real, like that you're doing um, that's been putting a lot of stress on you. They want, and like maybe you don't feel supported by your friends or partner or whoever, you know, but they see the hard work you're putting in and want you to know. They're so sweet. <laughs> And then we have lovers reversed here. So maybe some of you guys um, have had to move or you've had um, a loss in a relationship, friendship, um, maybe even like an actual loss. But I feel like there's some sort of relationship uh, that had ended and maybe that's why you've been feeling really low and they are trying to support you that way. But also with this card, there's a house there that says for sale. So maybe some of you guys have changed location or you will be moving or you're worried about where you're going to be living because of financial problems or something like that. Uh, but they want you to know that everything that's happening has a purpose, even though it does, might not seem like it or it seems like awful. It's because there's a better option out there. And if you do have specific things you want in life I think um along with keeping a dream journal and like getting messages for them I think talking to your spirit guides would be really helpful or like doing positive affirmations and speaking like like I am um you know amazing I am lovable I am loved I receive love I give up you know all that and like I am deserving of a healthy stable relationship stuff like that like um just speak more positively about yourself too, but also like make it clear like what you want in life and ask your guys for help if you need it. Cause they, I feel like right away I got that message that they're like trying to come in hard and like help you. Like they're there, they're always there, you know, but like we're not always listening. But the fact that you're watching this right now, like they're, it's great. <laughs> Let's get one more card from this. Um, we have the Six of Swords, and it's all right. Yeah, look at you guys. You're going into such a brighter future. If you're worried about that, look at that. She's, go like, running into this. It's from, like, turbulent darkness to light. And there's a little, little fairy spirit guide guiding her. So, yeah, if you, and this is the Six, too, next, after the lover. So, yeah, you guys are going. It might not seem this way right now, but things are going to get better, and... Yeah, you have a great support team that is leading you there. Yeah, the freaking Ten of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. So, happiness is coming. I know it's hard to um, realize it sometimes. Let's see what affirmation here. This could be a good start if you haven't been already practicing affirmations that your um, guides want you to repeat. What lesson, what affirmation do you have for group number two. Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Oh, that goes with like the lovers reverse. So you've been really hurt, but and maybe you've been having trouble trusting other people, but spirit wants you to trust yourself. And once you do that, like you know, you'll be treated the same way. Like, treat yourself with respect and honesty and, like, love yourself, and then you'll get that back from others. So I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. And this also makes me think of listen to your intuition and your gut feeling, because that's your spirit guide. I feel like this is another nudge from them to be like, hey, listen, like, we're trying to guide you in the right, like, direction. And then we have on the bottom, empathy. 
I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. When I saw empathy, it made me think empath and like intuitive. Yeah, I think you guys, I mean, everyone's very intuitive or has the ability to be, but I think you guys have a great capacity for that empathy and honesty. So maybe you guys get hurt easily or you just feel the pain of others and that could be like why you're feeling really low or like fatigued, like there's like energy vampires around you maybe or something like that. Um, that's just coming through. So maybe this will like make more sense knowing that it's other people's feelings. But yeah, I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation and I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So now let's throw the astro dice and see what final messages or see like who's involved, etc. Um, spirit. We have Gemini, Mars, and the fifth house. So this could be a Gemini or you're a Gemini. Mars also is like, maybe they they want you to take more action, yes. Um, the fifth house has to do with like um, children and like creativity and like having fun. So yeah, have more fun. I think being social will be good for you, taking action. Um, Mars is a very like action oriented and also Mars rules Aries. So that could maybe mean something to some of you guys. Maybe, um, it's just, yeah, I think they want you, the very first card, it's like, wake up, take, you know, like they want you to take action. Gemini is like a very social card. So I, I take this as like, your guys are really trying to talk to you again. Like it's coming through really hard with, with this group. So, um, your spirit guys definitely are trying to talk to you. Of course they always are, but like for you specifically group two, I'm just going to repeat what I said earlier, just to sum it up. Um, Definitely um, pay attention to synchronicities and dreams and a dream journal would be really helpful for you guys. So you can see, like, look at patterns and see what you're dreaming about and then um, see what messages are coming through and also um, working on, like, positive affirmations and just talking to your guys in general. Um, and again, I said this in the beginning, but if you need more help or are interested, Sonia... Cochette, she has a channel on YouTube too. I'll link it, but Ask Your Guys is a great way to learn how to talk to your guys. I like have a bunch of pages like, <laughs> no, like, and it's really easy. Like, I just love her vibe. She's very soothing and like really teaches you how to communicate with them. But I think um, Dream Journal for sure for you guys and positive affirmations because you guys really want to help bring you to this, um, you know, brighter place. But that's what I have for you, group number two. I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope now you and your guys can, you know, connect more and you can get clearer messages one-on-one. -on -one. But, uh, yeah, and again, if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you consider doing so before you go. And that means I will see you in the next Pick a Card. <laughs> Bye, Group 2. I love you. Hi, Group 3. Let me sit up. So you guys chose Amatrine in the Halloween Tarot deck. So Amatrine is uh, a mixture of Amethyst and Citrine. And for you guys, Group 3, I channel this message that your, your guys want you to work on getting like a better sleep routine. Like, depends on your you, but like more like stable sleep schedule like maybe some of you guys are not sleeping enough for most of you but maybe some people are sleeping too much but i think they want you to do that for your overall health they want you to get a, a, a sleep schedule down and i think that will bring you a lot more um like joy and just like better health overall it seems kind of random but that's coming through for you group three um sleep is really important to you maybe that's also a way your guys talk to you like in your dreams but i think it's more so for like your health and well-being sleep schedule yeah what messages do you have guys for group number three what advice guidance what does group number three need to hear it oh we have the five of bats i don't know right this is like the five of wands so um, maybe there's been some conflict going on in your life group number three maybe someone has been like kind of like a bully I don't know why like something came through with like maybe it's someone you work with a boss or maybe it's even like people that you're close with just have been disagreeing someone's kind of 
just not being very nice to you and I'm sorry about that. I see you guys as this like little cat in the background like feeling hurt like and people just feeling like your emotions have been dismissed. And yeah, maybe that's what's keeping on. Like people just haven't really been, you haven't been able to express yourself maybe. Um, so your guys want you to know that you are supported by them and they're there to talk to you. But maybe it's time to leave some people behind if they don't appreciate you and your feelings. They're not the type of people that you want in your life. And then with the Ace of Wands, yes, new beginnings are, are in order for you guys. This could be, it doesn't have to, so if it was Ace of Cups, I'd be like, for sure, maybe um, a relationship. But I think just there's some new beginning coming for you guys. And I think your spirit guides are trying to get you to leave behind what no longer serves you because there's something new coming in. Something with a lot of energy that will really make your life a lot more exciting and more positive. But there's some things you have to leave behind in order to make room for this new thing. And I think it might be clearer to you, or I bet it is clear to you who or what these people or situations or things, even even um, self-thought, like your thoughts and behaviors. Um, some things has to end in your specific case, although this makes sense, because something new is starting. This is something that's going to be really exciting. This could be, um, for some of you, maybe a new relationship, but like a new job, a new business, some new, just something totally new new start that's going to be really awesome and full of energy like a new hobby something major is coming with a lot of passion and it's going to be great but like if you don't cut off something like behaviors people or whatever it is that's holding you back right now like it's kind of like that see that hand like people might be holding you back from these opportunities that are going to be coming your way and spirit wants you to make sure that you don't miss out on these opportunities that are coming And then we have the four of uh, pumpkins. Now I'm pretty sure the pumpkins are, <laughs> I haven't used this deck in so long, it's so cute. So the four of pumpkins is like the four of pentacles. So I think for some of you guys, you might be holding on to things that, like phys material things also might be a big thing that you guys, Spirit's trying to get you to let go of. Because in the Four of Pentacles in the traditional deck, you know, he's like holding that coin, like doesn't share. There's like no flow of resources, money. Like there's no like flow. Like I think you need to be more open to receive these new things that are coming into your life too. So for a lot of you, this thing that like letting go, I was talking about might be things internally or even material possessions or something like that. If that makes sense for you. Like, um, oh yeah, it's so cute. His legs are like made from like pea pods. <laughs> um, and that just made me think something about like maybe better eating him. It's like he's all vegetables and then over here it's like bags of candy. But um, be open to new things and new – it's something – the new thing that's coming for you guys is something very different than what you're used to, you know. Um, and it's going to be different in a good way, but spirit wants you to make room in your life for it. What is this spirit? Can you um, – it's like a new lifestyle or something. It's like – Maybe it is the thing that you need to let go is like an unhealthy behavior. What is this spirit? Can you please provide? So we have the four of ghosts reverse. So that's like the four of cups reverse. Oh, there's two fours there. So there's some, um, so this is like coming out of your shell. I feel like you're going to step into your true authentic self and spirits like wants you to like four of cups, like upright is someone that's just like closed off but reverse I see this as you coming out of your shell and like being more authentic and um so I think the main message for you guys is that something new and exciting that like is true to your heart that you love and are going to be really excited about is coming your way group three which is really exciting but you need to make way for it and if there's any people that bully you or like stop try and stop you from doing this like you have to recognize that and not let it stop you and get in stop you from this amazing new start that's coming like this could be like a new job that's more exciting a new new friendship new relationship maybe even like moving somewhere new there's something big that there's going to be some people that are that try and stop you or like question you or like why would you do that like you can't do that like they can't tell you it's your, it's your life you know so that's coming through for you guys um so i know this it's going to be different for each person uh oh yeah 
Look at the bottom of the deck is um, the Hierophant. So this is going to be something that you like commit officially to. Maybe it is going to be a relationship or you're going to have to break off it. But like it's like a commitment to something, formal commitment, or maybe just something um, that's not the traditional way your family does things or something like that. Let's get, I'm going to just keep doing tarot cards. Let's get one. Oh, two of um, imps is right under it. So the two of wands. Yeah, something big is coming. Some in the the card in the traditional deck is like holding like a world in his hand. You know, so like there's like there could be travel plans or something big coming that you you're gonna have to commit to. And and there's gonna be people that don't want you to commit. Like it's gonna be like signing a contract or something like that. Like there's gonna be some sort of or it could be like a commitment like to a person or job is something like that and there's gonna be people trying to tell you what to do and stopping you and, and the message is coming through clear that spirit wants you to just know that it's I think this opportunity is going to be for the best for you but obviously you do you know it's best just be aware of this when it comes up that that if it feels right to you then listen to your heart don't listen to your head or like the nagging like you know people you know like like the you know, let's into your heart that that's what spirits wants you to know. Group number three. Is there anything else you want group number three to know, spirit? Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Yeah, maybe things have just been too serious and not fun. And this new, like I, I got that energy earlier, this new thing's going to be like super exciting. And maybe you've been held back by a commitment, some of you, that, that's coming through now. Um, and then denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of, an, of awareness. So some of you guys may be just denying yourself this new opportunity and it's that voice in your head you need to quiet and you gotta quiet your mind and listen to your heart. Yes. So I know it's gonna be different for each person but some of you yeah, it might be yourself that it's your own fear from moving forward not other people. I acknowledge my fear but I replace it with the insight of awareness. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Yes. Spirit wants you to Follow your dreams and be your authentic self and not be so serious and not deny yourself the life you deserve and, you know. Your spirit guys are coming strong. They have something cool, something big's coming for you. Do you know what it is? I'm curious. So you have Aquarius, the sun. So yeah, this is about you and this. Oh, the, and the first house. Oh, my God. So the sun is the first house. This is all about you. Um, so a few things are coming to mind. Like, I think with the queries that I saw first, it's, like, kind of, like, humanitarian thing. Like, you're always thinking about other people, in a way, for this group. I feel like that's coming through. And it's time to focus on yourself and your own needs and what you want and it's okay to do that i think maybe you've been putting your own needs aside for a while but something's going to come across that's going to make you like love yourself more and love life more soon so that's amazing um and if you're unclear what's going on i feel like especially since it's like halloween i feel like your guides are definitely trying to contact you through your sleep, maybe. And maybe, like, sleeping more will help you make think more clearly and make this big decision you're likely going to have to make. Because, you know, how I said it's sleep comment in the beginning. I'm like, I know that has to correlate with this. But, yeah, it looks like something new is coming. There's a lot of, like, ones and fours here. I don't know. Look for synchronicities. Uh, sleep more. Take care of yourself. And listen to your heart. And don't let other people drag you down but like you know absolutely do what you think is best for you but your guides are there to help so reach out to them if you want to talk to them one-on-one -on -one, you know and see what's um what's headed your way but I feel like something good's coming to you and I really hope you enjoy it and it's exciting let me know if this resonated down below thank you guys so much for being here group three um I hope this was helpful I hope it resonated and um I hope you subscribe if you haven't already and if you like this video um please let me know. And yeah, if you subscribe, I hope that means I will see you in the next reading and that you
you know, whatever. I'm just so grateful you're here. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling like this positive energy from your spirit guides here right now, like leading you the way. It's just a really nice energy. So I hope you're feeling that too. If not, I think you definitely will be soon, but I love you guys and have a good night. Bye.